Hey everybody, it's Texas Sun Fun here again today. Just giving you an update on the progress I've made. Here's the uh, rain barrel, or the rain catch barrel, as well as the aquaponic barrel that I'll be putting the fish in later. I still have to run the uh, drain pipe down from the gutter up there, down into the top fittings at the very top here. You can kind of see those. I'll zoom in on those. Right now I've got a hose in there just doing a wet test, trying to test it all out. And then I made it real easy on myself. I teed off of the output of the IBC rain barrel and brought myself out a nice little spigot here so that way if I ever need to wash my hands or anything like that, well, if I've got it turned on, Oops. Yeah, turn it on here. All right, now that I have the IBC tote turned on, I actually have a water spigot here that I can get myself fresh water to wash my hands or whatever I need to. Off the top of here, I'm planning on uh, running a pipe up the side that will actually allow me to see the level of water inside of the IBC tote. And then as you can see, it runs down here to a series of tees. This back one right here runs out to my Dutch bucket system. And then this side over here will eventually run out to the sump for the aquaponic system to keep that filled up. Hold on just a minute and I'll take you out to the Dutch bucket setup. Here's my Dutch bucket setup. This is the other end of that black pipe that we were just looking at a few moments ago. It runs into the side of the bucket here through a little grommet. And then I've got a float valve on here that controls the level of water inside of this particular bucket here. Then it comes through and drains out that uh, right there and comes over here and drains back around and fills up all of these buckets. Keeps them watered all of the time. And the nice thing about this system is that I'll be able to expand it as far as I want to because of the way it's designed. All I have to do is pull this fitting right here off and then move another bucket into place. And you'll be able to, I'll be able to run as many buckets off as what I want all the way back as far as I want to. So I'll probably be able to get about 50 or 60 buckets here if I want to. Taking a walk back out here. I took the uh, quote unquote rose garden and I whacked all the roses down and, and really trimmed them up hardcore this year. And then I started uh, putting myself in a compost pile out here. And we'll see how that goes. I'm not too sure about that yet. As you can see, the trees are, the peach trees are in full bloom. Those are really cool. Underneath the peach trees here, I added in three blackberry bushes. I'm not sure if you can see them or not. There's one of them. These are Ebony King blackberries, so they'll be nice and sweet and ready for baking later this year. There's my third one over there. And then I went ahead and planted the apple trees. As you can see, the apple trees are doing really good. They're already starting to uh, sprout leaves and stuff like that. And as you can see, they've already got a couple of blooms on them. They're trying to bloom out, but what I've been doing is pinching those blooms off. I don't want the trees to try and grow fruit this year. Instead, I would rather that they concentrate on the uh, roots. So I'm just pinching those buds right off so that way they don't try and put out uh, any kind of flowers or anything like that. And then walking over here a little further, here's our other apple tree. As you can see, it's doing pretty good. It's got lots of leaves on it and stuff. And then our other peach tree over here, of course, is doing awesome, amazing. And here's the construction zone. <laughs> this is where I've been doing all of the work that y'all have been following. As you can see, I built a real nice enclosure around the IBC totes, so that way, uh, our neighbors won't be bothered by the sight of them or anything like that. And then you can also see this area here is going to be my NFT aquaponic, well hydroponic aquaponic uh, grow setup here. So that still needs a lot of work. I had kind of put that project on hold while I was trying to get the IBC totes set up. So 
there's all my uh, extra buckets there for the Dutch bucket system. I'll be utilizing those here very shortly. Anyway, that's all for today. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time.